Today I am talking to Jamie, a portfolio analyst with Charleston National Bank. Jamie is responsible for portfolio strategy and providing recommendations to maximize profitability. Many organizations have a limited view of profitability. The calculation happens at a higher aggregate level, whether it be at the total bank or at the branch level. These calculations usually are not at the division, customer, or even at the product level that would allow them to take action and make changes. Why is this important to Jamie? As Charleston National Bank moves to be more customer-centric, Jamie needs to understand all of the different slices of profitability. What business units are profitable? Which customers and industry segments are profitable? Is there risk in the model? And what relationship manager is contributing the most to profitability? All of these questions are critical for Jamie in order to better understand his customers, improve retention, and even upsell services. This all requires a new approach and a new solution to manage profitability. IBM's planning analytics is that solution. With superior scale, flexibility, and ease of use, planning analytics can handle the large amount of data Charleston National Bank has in order to meet their team's needs. We will navigate through Charleston's products, location, and customer segmentation, which can easily grow beyond hundreds of thousands, plus work with rate tables for items such as risk assessments and operating costs. The sheer potential of intersections of data we'll be working with today can easily be 338 trillion. Imagine if you were to build that in Excel, how do you think that performance will be? That's a scary thought. There is no other product on the market that can match planning analytics for its sheer speed at managing data sets at this scale. That's why companies such as Ancestry.com with their 51 quintillion data intersections, that's 51 with 18 zeros after. Amazon, Best Buy, they use planning analytics as well as industry leaders in all of the markets across the globe. But today, I want to demonstrate a use case that applies to banking. In this demo, you will see how IBM Planning Analytics is uniquely positioned to scale and support large volumes of data and categories, run algorithmic time series forecasts, conduct complex what-if modeling, and driver bay forecast to quickly understand the ripple effect from various changes that occur across the enterprise. All those touch points deliver insights to Jamie as he collaborates with his team and will be leveraged in determining an optimized next best action for Jamie's relationship manager. As a portfolio analyst for Charleston National Bank, Jamie can look into the portfolio mix and use this as a basis to provide recommendations for relationship manager Ogi Oglethorpe's customers. Here, he has a historical trend related to credit, deposit, and treasury services. Ogi's customers were struggling in mid-2020 due to the impacts of the pandemic. We provided more services for these customers. However, they fell behind on the credit products and loan payments. Jamie wants to explore options to help turn this trend around. To do this, Jamie will collaborate with Carrie, the financial analyst, and Mike, the operations manager. Carrie is the financial analyst. She is responsible for understanding customer and product profitability, plus identifying and mitigating risk. On her workspace, Carrie is able to take a look at the commercial customer P&L in a little more detail. She has modeled the entire customer relationship all the way down to the various accounts underneath. This list of relationships can be in the hundreds of thousands. The other lens Carrie has here is product. So when she looks at her entire product portfolio, she could easily select the various products. The visualization here highlights those relationship managers that are top performers. Carrie can quickly see that Reggie Dunlop is outperforming Ogie Oglethorpe, hence Jamie's need for the portfolio review. Carrie wants to understand the projected trend of Oglethorpe's portfolio were it to continue into 2021. She will leverage the embedded AI algorithmic forecasting to run time series forecasts using algorithms focused on exponential smoothing. Behind the scenes, there are multiple algorithms applied to the data, and the best fit is shown here. It detects things like seasonality in the data and applies that to the forecast period. Back on Carrie's workspace, 
She can see that the energy and utility industry contributes the largest portion of interest margin of all of Ogi's customer base. Given what has been in the news recently around the fallout of the energy failure in Texas, Carrie will want to scenario model the risk level associated with this industry and the related impact it had on the petroleum business to account for the potential increased risk. Risk factors are always important in understanding the capital that has to be set aside, knowing not all loans will come to full term. Some of the utility customers' loans may or may not be paid off as expected, so Carrie will perform some what-if scenario modeling, giving her the ability to quickly adapt or pivot, especially in the current times. She can do that here across the various industries by making a few changes to adjust for the potential risk associated with utilities as well as the follow-on impact to petroleum. By increasing the risk factor to 35 for utilities and 25 for petroleum, Kerry can immediately see the impact in real time when she looks at her commercial customer P&L. To help Kerry understand the magnitude of these changes, she is able to compare her embedded what-if scenario sandboxes side by side. But Kerry doesn't want to have to do this math in her head. She wants to see the dollar impact, so on the fly, she would create an impact calculation. Now, with the dollar impact easily displayed here, the increase in capital necessary to mitigate the potential risk jumps right out at Carrie. These two simple changes to her scenario just ran through the entire model down to the customer and product level and returned the result immediately in a secure and governed environment. Knowing the scale of data, how long do you think this would take if she had to maintain this in Excel? Jamie's also collaborating with Mike. Mike is Charleston National Bank's operations manager. His area of focus is on improving operating costs. Mike can track all of the individual service transactions offered to the customers. The various operational costs associated with these services are loaded here and can be included in the profitability calculation. Mike's considering a couple of options to improve profitability either lockbox services or credit card processing. Just a couple to test out. To do this, Mike will make some driver-based forecasting changes, adjusting the lockbox transaction count to 20,000 transactions. He can immediately see the associated extended cost increase. This morning, Mike got a notification from his team and they have implemented some new technology to help with credit card processing. Mike will update the cost driver table and see that driver-based forecast immediately run through the entire model so Mike can now see that operating costs have decreased. Now that Jamie has a good understanding of the portfolio mix for Oglethorpe's customers, he wants to optimize the mix to move away from the lower revenue, high overhead activities that were historically provided and see the recommended actions for high revenue and low overhead products. The integrated AI optimization is looking at the historical trends we just reviewed and takes into account the new operational cost structure plus the margin yield. Now Jamie has a recommended next best action for Ogi's customers and can recommend that Ogi restructure their credit services and investment portfolio as well as work on new contracts to discontinue the less profitable treasury services he has here and replace with services that take advantage of the improved cost that Mike communicated, which will grow Charleston National Bank's margin and provide the best service to Ogie's customers. To recap, in this demo, you saw how IBM Planning Analytics is uniquely positioned to scale and support large volumes of data and categories, run algorithmic time series forecast, conduct complex what-if scenario modeling and driver-based forecasts to quickly understand the ripple effect from various changes that occur across the enterprise. All of those touch points were leveraged in determining an optimized next best action for Jamie's relationship manager. Scenario planning with IBM Planning Analytics and agile data collection from a broader set of contributors delivers immediate insights to Charleston National Bank. They see areas of focus, optimize their service, and drive next best actions. Thank you.